Every once in a while, I just like to think about how special I am to God. Because I think it makes me a nicer person. I think God is pleased when I rejoice in who he is in my life. So uh, the other day I was at a conference and I heard a preacher talk about Psalm 71. And in Psalm 71 it says, I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. So when he was preaching and that he brought out that verse and he said, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a wonder to people, not because of who I am or what I am, but because of the fact that God is my refuge. You know, um, people can see, see your actions and they can wonder about how nice you are, or they can see your actions and, and, and wonder that, uh, you're so, that you are such a kind person. Uh, those kind of actions are evidence of the fact that you have faith and trust in God. Take, for instance, when I go to a store, I can't even tell you how impatient I have tendencies to be in stores. You know, when when I'm in line and the cashier's taking too long to talk to somebody or the lady in front of me, actually the other day a lady was in front of me and she forgot something and she le- she had her stuff starting to go through the line she left the line to go pick up something and came back and i just started to get irritated at her and i thought nope i'm going to be a wonder today and i'm going to not think anything i'm not going to say anything about this because it's you know i when I think about it, I say, you know what, Lord, what is the big deal? Why do you have to be so irritated with people? Um, we got to be careful and be a wonder to people because of who God is in our life. That's what the psalmist was talking about here. I am a wonder, you know, and so I got to, when, when I think of the fact that God is my refuge, then I realize that if I have to wait a few extra minutes standing in line, it was part of his magnificent plan for my life because I can trust him. Do you understand that every little minute thing that you do in your life is part of his plan? And I, even the mistakes that happen, I, I don't say, I think he allows me to make mistakes. You know, I do things that I shouldn't do. I drop things. I, you know, I, 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 I misplace something and can't find it, and it takes me 10 minutes to look around the motorhome to try to find it. You know, I, I I bought my daughter a set of earrings, and I usually put things like that in a certain drawer in the back of the bus. Well, evidently, I had different plans because for two months, I couldn't find those earrings. All of a sudden, I looked in a box where I had some cereal I was going to send to my other daughter-in-law, And I found those earrings. Evidently, I thought, well, when I go to mail out the cereal to my daughter-in-law, I'll see, I'll get those earrings in the mail to my daughter. Isn't that crazy? But I was upset with myself. Maybe it was better timing to send the earrings to my daughter two months later. I just, why get upset with myself when I misplace something? Just be a wonder to yourself and to others around you by being patient and have less irritations. God is your, if God is your refuge, then show it. I remember when I first got saved and went back, I got saved in July and I went back to school for my senior year in August. And I have to be honest with you, people were coming up to me and say, what's going on with you, Loretta? You're different. You don't party anymore. You don't talk like you used to. And I got to witness to people and tell them, that I had gotten saved at Shenandoah Bible Baptist Church and my life was different and I was a happier person because of it. I got to actually witness because people wondered about how different I was. Let's make it a point today to make yourself a person that makes people wonder today because of God being your refuge. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.